Hey guys, welcome to Revan's Tab. I wanted to make a quick little video today about the five things I like about my uh, 2015 GTI. Uh, the first thing I'll start off the bat would be the DSG gearbox. I know in my previous video I mentioned a little pet peeve about when I'm going in the parking lot, going from first to second gear. It can be kind of jittery, but overall the DSG gearbox is unbelievable. It's it's easy to operate and it's very smooth when you change the shifts. It's real quick. Especially when it's in a sports setting, it's crisp, it's quick, and it knows, if, if you go for a spirit of driving, it knows what gear to be, like when you're going around the turn, and you're ready to press on the gas, it knows what gear to be in. So it's it's really nice, I really love everything about it. Um, I had, the previous car was an MK7 as well, it was a manual, and I, it's not as enjoyable as the manual, but overall it's a lot quicker when it comes down to shifting gears. I would never be able to beat that. Number two, it will be the actual lightning package that's offered with the car. Uh, I advise anyone that's considering purchasing a GTI to invest in that. I believe it's a great investment. It makes the car look so much better on the outside. Uh, it's beautiful here. I'll it makes the car look so much better on the outside. Um, let me turn it on for a minute so you guys can see what it looks like. So here are the lights in their basic setting. And I'm sorry for the noise, the car is kind of loud. Um, and let me turn the lights on. And this is what they look like. I think in general, it looks amazing. Number three, it will be the DCC extra option that you can get with the car. I also highly recommend that to uh, anyone looking at purchasing a new GTI. So you guys can see exactly what it looks like. Uh, you just go into any of the settings. I currently have the car in sports setting, but you can go into individual settings and adjust the settings there. You can pick anything. Uh, you can adjust the settings there. You can decide if you want your DCC to be in comfort, normal, or sport, and there is a significant difference between comfort, normal, and sport. You can definitely feel it inside the car. Uh, at sport, it you can feel every single bump of the road. It's it's a little bit uh, harsher ride, but it's beautiful when it comes to turning. Uh, and then there's a few other options like the steering, the engine, the front differential, the front lightning. Um, but overall, the the DCC is a good investment as well. Number four, it will be the tunability factor of the car. Uh, you get great numbers just with like a stage one tune. Um, you can get a bunch of horsepower, a bunch of torque added to just stock car and you don't really have to do much to it. Uh, I currently have the JB1 and I'll be doing a review of that coming up soon. I didn't want to risk my warranty so I decided to go with a piggyback. Uh, and let me show you where I put it or how I installed it. So the JB1, uh, let me show you what it looks like. Uh, I decided to put it right there, as you can see, it's over here. Uh, I kind of ran the wires through, as you can as you can tell, there is not much you can see. It looks very stock. I like that you can remove it at any time. Uh, I just had my uh, 10,000 mile service recently, and it was it was really easy to take it out, put it back in. It took me maybe 15 minutes to take it out, and 15 minutes to put it back in. Uh, the dealership didn't detect anything because it was gone from the car and then I got it back to my garage, put it on and I got the same performance as before. And lastly, as number five, it's the great cargo space. Uh, you can see in the back, it, it doesn't look like much, but when those seats come down, you can fit a lot of things in there. I use the car for little house projects and it's more than efficient in carrying any extra things that I need or any extra tools or uh, materials or anything like that that I need for the house. So guys, these are the five things that I love about my car. Uh, they're my personal list. I kind of want to hear what you guys like uh, about your cars. It doesn't have to be a GTI, it can be any other car. It would be nice to know what you guys drive and what you guys uh, like. So please, if you like this video, like and subscribe. And thank you for showing support. Have a great day.